How should the city of Melbourne encourage arts and creativity? That's our third question. And to help us explore that, we've got to start Ash Keating. So Ash is a visual artist since 2004. He's been exhibiting extensively in galleries and also undertaken a diverse range of arts projects in the public realm. Ash has worked throughout Australia and also internationally. In 2012, he created the three-channel video artwork, West Park Proposition, which will be exhibited as part of NGV's Melbourne Now opening this week. Welcome to Ash. Thanks. Uh, I, um, I've been quite busy the last week, and I, I only just started preparing this afternoon, and I prepared for the last question, actually. So I haven't got a, uh, a written uh, response to the last question or this one, but um, I guess in terms of, um, in terms of what I see a sort of a creative and inspirational city, I certainly see it as, um, as Melbourne. Um, and I'm born in Melbourne, I'm born and, live, and, and I lived uh, you know, 30 minutes uh, east in Blackburn and um, in the early 90s I used to uh, come into Melbourne and, and see the, um, the potential of the city that I was um, raised in. And, um, and then as I started sort of gathering um, uh, momentum with, with my personal uh, interest and identity of art and uh, painting and painting in the... Um, in the studio, but also in the in in the on the walls in the suburbs, I started seeing uh, there more potential for audience uh, interaction with my work uh, on walls in the city. But um, essentially, I, I I saw I guess that kind of um, th that need to travel into the city, you know, and 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 base myself in the city, which I've done sort of since the early 2000s. But something that we've been talking about as a group here in terms of um, answering and responding to this question or provoking this question is the fact that through that time over the last sort of 10, 15 years while I've been living in this, in, in, in Fitzroy and, and currently in North Melbourne and East Melbourne, trying to just keep on the pulse and in the city, you know, as, a, as an artist should, is that those, those rents keep rising and rising and rising. And, um, and, and on top of the fact that I, uh, like most artists are, sort of um, living check to check, fee to fee, and, and trying to act of, uh, um, you know, um, uh, act as an artist 24-7 because that's sort of the role as an administrator slash artist these days. There is sort of a, uh, uh, it's hard, I guess, to balance all these types of things and stay on the pulse and then stay on the pulse of what everyone else is doing outside of your own practice. So I, th I think that for young people, like, uh, you know, for instance, when I was 24, I, the, the, the Mockridge Fountain out um, on, the, on the side here near Swanson Street in Collins was boarded up with board um, during the drought. And I went up there and, uh, and I saw it for a couple of months as an un untapped uh, space, um, a great space for maybe some art to be on. So I just took it upon myself to utilise that space and I did an uncommissioned uh, splash base painting on that, pe on that wall. Um, and, uh, and then I went back uh, week after week and I laid it and then the City of Melbourne actually... Um, actually, uh, you know, took this on board and they actually cleaned some of the pavement and they, they, uh, they left it stay for three months. And, and for me that was important. It was just important that I had to paint at that point and I had to use that space at that point. And I've been speaking to friends and, and artists that are, that are that age now um, and, and they have projects that they want to get up and running now. And, and I know the, the need, I guess, the feeling to, to want to make a project now, make a project that'll be presented within a couple of months. And uh, I think that if the City of Melbourne can do anything, it can facilitate uh, people, uh, artists in their 20s that want to make art now uh, and, and, and can sort of uh, facilitate these sort of short-term projects in the city, I guess, you know. But in, in respect to that as well, I guess, um, you know, the, what we were talking about with, 
with affordability. I mean, that is a big issue. And as Gideon said, it's only going to become a bigger issue as this city becomes wealthier and wealthier. Because, you know, sooner or later, I'm not going to be living in Fitzroy. I'm going to be living in Coburg and beyond there. And, um, and, uh, and that's where the hub of all of our creators are going to be living soon, if that kind of thing isn't considered. Yeah. Anyway, I'll, I'll leave it.